Alright, in this video, we'll be installing the all-new Vanilla OS and setting it up. I'll guide you through Vanilla OS installation directly on your computer, virtual box and GNOME boxes. Vanilla OS is a new Linux distro that has caused a lot of hype in the Linux community. It is a very interesting Linux distro which has a very unique approach to desktop Linux. That is why it's getting a lot of traction very fast. It comes with its own installer so I'll be taking you through it step by step. Use the timestamps below if you want to jump to a particular step in the video. Alright, step 1. We need to download Vanilla OS so open up a browser and search for Vanilla OS. Click on the VanillaOS.org link. Click on Get Vanilla OS. Here click on the ISO file and wait for it to download. This is the first version of Vanilla OS and it is based on Ubuntu 22.10. If you want to install Vanilla OS directly on your computer then you will need a USB stick or a pen drive. Major disclaimer, at the moment Vanilla OS doesn't let you use custom partitioning. So installing Vanilla OS will completely wipe your hard disk or SSD and use it entirely. So if you have only one storage device, you lose all your data and existing operating systems. If you want to try it without deleting anything then you can either install VirtualBox or GNOME boxes. Use the chapters or timestamps below to jump to those sections. Ok, now that the file is downloaded, we'll continue with installation directly on your computer. Plug in the USB stick that you want to use to make it bootable. If you're on Linux, directly right click on the downloaded file and open with disk image writer. Choose your USB stick here and continue. This will erase your USB stick completely and flash vanilla OS on top of it. So back up any data on it beforehand. If you're on Windows, you can use the Rufus tool to make vanilla OS live USB. Once this is done, shut down your computer. Now we'll boot into a live session. To do this, you need to know the boot device selection key for your computer. This will be specific to your computer. You can just google that, boot device selection key followed by your computer manufacturer and model. Once you know that, turn on your computer with the USB stick plugged in and repeatedly press that key while your computer boots. You'll see a list of devices, use the arrow keys to select your USB stick or your pen drive. Give it a few minutes and your computer will boot into a vanilla OS live session. So this is your vanilla OS. Click on install vanilla OS. Here select your language, you can start typing to select your preferred language. Click here to continue. In the keyboard layout section, I guess you can keep everything as it is and continue. In this section, either use the drop downs to select your time zone or directly type in your time zone city name and continue. Here you need to select your hard disk to install vanilla OS. As I said earlier, this will erase your entire hard disk. Right now vanilla OS doesn't have the option to configure partitions or drives, so proceed carefully. Select your hard disk and click on configure. As you can see, the manual partitioning option is greyed out. It may be enabled later on, but right now we are going with use entire disk and click on apply. Next, click on confirm changes. Fill in your name and desired username and passwords here. Just check your installation summary once and click on install vanilla OS. Alright, it might take up to 20 minutes for vanilla OS to install. Once it is done, you can restart your computer. Pull out the USB stick when prompted and hit enter. Once your computer restarts, log in using your password here and you'll be welcomed by your new vanilla OS. This is your first setup app which will help you configure your vanilla OS experience, so let's start. Choose your preferred desktop mode here, light or dark. Here you get the option to install flatpak and app images on your system. You can turn them off but I recommend that you keep them both turned on. Ok, this is a very important step. Here you'll be asked to choose the applications that you want installed on your system. Go through this very carefully and select what you need. For the best experience, I highly recommend that you install everything here. If you have Nvidia hardware, you'll be asked to install the proprietary drivers. Go with yes install as it will significantly enhance the performance. Install the restricted codecs as well. Click on next and input your password here. Wait for it to finish up and then restart your computer once more. There you have it, your new installation of Vanilla OS. To install software on Vanilla OS, open up a terminal and run apx install and the package name. First time it'll take a bit time, then on it'll be fast. Hope you didn't run into any problems. Enjoy your new Vanilla OS. Alright, in this section, I'll show you how to install Vanilla OS on VirtualBox. We have already downloaded the ISO file, so let's go ahead and install VirtualBox. If you have that installed too, skip to the next chapter. 
on Windows, use the link in the description below to download VirtualBox. Double click on the downloaded file and launch the installer. Install VirtualBox by just clicking next on everything. If you are on Linux, use the commands given here to install VirtualBox. You can find it in the description below too. Once installed, open up VirtualBox. Here click new. Type in vanilla and change these to Linux and Ubuntu. Adjust the RAM here to 2GB or more than 2. We are creating a virtual hard disk, so go with this option. Let's use a VDI. Let's go with dynamically allocated. Change this to 55 as vanilla OS requires a minimum of 50 GB storage. Let's add another file here for the padding. Alright, now click on the settings here. Navigate to storage and click on the empty here. Check the live CD option and click on this little icon here. Choose disk file. Browse to your download location and select the vanilla OS ISO file that we downloaded just now. Click on OK and start it up. If you want, you can go ahead and increase the resolution of the VM in settings. Click on Install Vanilla OS. Here, select your language. You can start typing to select your preferred language. Click here to continue. In the keyboard layout section, I guess you can keep everything as it is and continue. In this section, either use the drop downs to select your time zone or directly type in your time zone city name and continue. Select your hard disk and click on configure. Next, click on confirm changes. Fill in your name and desired username and passwords here. Just check your installation summary once and click on install vanilla OS. All right. It might take up to 20 minutes for vanilla OS to install. Once your computer restarts, log in using your password here and you'll be welcomed by your new vanilla OS. This is your first setup app which will help you configure your vanilla OS experience, so let's start. Choose your preferred desktop mode here, light or dark. Here you get the option to install Flatpak and app images on your system. You can turn them off but I recommend that you keep them both turned on. Okay, this is a very important step. Here, you'll be asked to choose the applications that you want installed on your system. Go through this very carefully and select what you need. For the best experience, I highly recommend that you install everything here. If you're installing Vanilla OS as a VM, then you get this option to install some tools that support the VM. Obviously, install them. Install the restricted codecs as well. Click on Next and input your password here. Wait for it to finish up and then restart your computer once more. There you have it, your new installation of Vanilla OS. To install software on Vanilla OS, open up a terminal and run apx install and the package name. First time, it'll take a bit time. Then on, it'll be fast. Hope you didn't run into any problems. Enjoy your new Vanilla OS. Gnome Boxes is a very simple and easy to use VM software available on Linux. It's much simpler than VirtualBox and I use it all the time. So if you're already using a Linux distro and want to give Vanilla OS a quick try, then GNOME Boxes is a great option. You can install Boxes directly from the terminal by running sudo apt install GNOME Boxes. Open Boxes from the menu once it installs. Click on the plus icon here. Select Create Virtual Machine from File. Browse and select your downloaded Vanilla OS ISO file here. Click Next. You can keep RAM as it is, but if your computer has 8GB or more RAM, then up this to 4. Increase the storage to 55 GB as Vanilla OS requires a minimum of 50 GB for installation. Click on Create and wait for the system to boot. Alright, we are in. Click on Install Vanilla OS and continue with the same steps as VirtualBox. Here, select your language. You can start typing to select your preferred language. In the keyboard layout section, I guess you can keep everything as it is and continue. In this section, either use the drop downs to select your time zone or directly type in your time zone city name and continue. 
Select your hard disk and click on configure. Next, click on confirm changes. Fill in your name and desired username and passwords here. Just check your installation summary once and click on install vanilla OS. Alright, it might take up to 20 minutes for vanilla OS to install. Once your computer restarts, log in using your password here and you'll be welcomed by your new vanilla OS. This is your first setup app which will help you configure your vanilla OS experience, so let's start. Choose your preferred desktop mode here, light or dark. Here you get the option to install Flatpak and app images on your system. You can turn them off but I recommend that you keep them both turned on. Here you'll be asked to choose the applications that you want installed on your system. Go through this very carefully and select what you need. For the best experience, I highly recommend that you install everything here. If you are installing Vanilla OS as a VM, then you get this option to install some tools that support the VM. Obviously install them. Install the restricted codecs as well. Click on next and input your password here. Wait for it to finish up and then restart your computer once more. There you have it, your new installation of Vanilla OS. To install software on Vanilla OS, open up a terminal and run apx install and the package name. First time it'll take a bit time, then on it'll be fast. Hope you didn't run into any problems. Enjoy your new vanilla OS. Hope you guys found the video useful and got vanilla OS up and running without an issue. Vanilla is a fantastic operating system that is doing some very good innovation, especially with their Apex package manager which lets you install software from any Linux distro like Fedora or Arch. And for the initial release, it works surprisingly well. Since this is the first release of Vanilla OS, I didn't have a lot of expectations as far as the usability is concerned. But it's good. Vanilla OS definitely needs refinements and polishing touches, but I'm optimistic about it. Well, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. And check out my video of 15 blockbuster flatpak apps that you need to have installed in 2023. This is Linux Tech. see you in the next one.